I am well aware that some of my regular viewers have tastes that run to the unusual looking, shall we say. One could even say that some of you like your aircraft, quite frankly, on the ugly side. And I have seen the comments asking, practically begging, for me to cover a very specific genre. Please, Ed, they say, when are we going to see them? Well, your patience is about to be rewarded and your appeals have been heard. Here is a French bomber. In fact, this is a Breguet 410, which actually ran to a whole series of aircraft, though in fact only a handful in total were ever built. In the late 1920s, French aerial doctrine identified a need for a new type of aircraft, the Multiplace de Combat. This would be a multi-crewed aircraft that would be capable of acting as a bomber, reconnaissance aircraft, or as a long-range escort for other aircraft. To this end, the Army de l'Air issued a requirement in 1928 for a new aircraft that would have a four-man crew, be capable of carrying a reasonable bomb load, and have a heavy, for the time, defensive armament. It was to try and win this contract that Breguet designed and built the BR-410. Developed in 1930 and first flying in 1931, the BR-410 was broadly modelled on the company's previous BR-27 light reconnaissance bomber. The BR-410 had a sesquiplane wing layout with a somewhat odd pod-like fuselage that appears to end rather abruptly and leaves the tail almost appearing to be stuck out strut-like. Despite its unusual looks, the aircraft had a four-man crew, was capable of carrying a bomb load of 1,300 kilograms, so around 2,870 pounds, and had twin Lewis-like machine guns in nose and rear fuselage turrets. The pilot had an open cockpit right up in the top of the fuselage, from which position he would have had a great view above and around, if a bit drafty. Construction was of steel tube framing with a duralumin skin and a fixed undercarriage. Power plant was two Hispano Suiza's 12 NB V12 engines that each produced 650 horsepower. With these, the aircraft had a top speed of 305 km per hour, about 190 miles per hour. Flight testing by the French Air Force revealed that the BR 410 seemed to be a good aircraft, but the authorities' reception was somewhat cool. All of the designs entered for the competition needed improvements, and so in February 1932, Breguet flew the BR-411. This had some minor improvements, generally internally, but also didn't meet with any success, and the French Air Force would order the Amio 143 for the role. Despite this failure, Breguet evidently had faith in the basic design, and so in February 1933, they flew the BR-413. This aircraft was a re-engined version of the Breguet BR-410, the power plant being changed to two hispano Suiza. 12 YBR engines, which produced the same horsepower but were lighter. This increased speed marginally, and Breguet's persistence paid off, kind of, with a production order for four aircraft. How much use these got with the French Air Force is unknown, but it is recorded that at least one of these aircraft, possibly more, was donated to the Republicans during the Spanish Civil War, which raged between 1936 and 39. Limited though it was, this order seems to have inspired Breguet at another attempt for a major order for the type with the French Air Force. In November 1933, Breguet flew the BR 414. This would compete for a new requirement that was issued in 1932 for a bomber. The BR 414 had some significant changes. Immediately noticeable was the increased armament, which saw a ventral position added that had an additional two Lewis machine guns fitted to protect the underside of the aircraft. Power plant was also improved, with the 414 being fitted with Gnome Roan 14K radial engines, which had increased power of 760 horsepower each. Despite this, once again the aircraft showed no real improvement over the prior models, and the contract went to Bloch instead. One final attempt was made by Breguet to sell the aircraft in 1936. A new version, the BR-420, which most probably was the BR-414 rebuilt, was created which saw modifications made to the rear fuselage and tail to improve the aircraft's longitudinal stability. But by this time the French were committed to the aircraft they had already selected, and in fact starting to consider their next generation. And for that the BR-210s 
were definitely looking rather old-fashioned, and Breguet pretty quickly shifted attention to other, more modern aircraft as better sales prospects. With that, the 410s vanished. Rather odd-looking aircraft, which, for all of that, were apparently not too bad, just not really particularly good. <laughs> 